Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Quick Shop. So this is a fantastic chess shop plugin that you can download for free off of Spigot. So if we look around this market tent that I've made, uh, we can see examples of this plugin in action. So over here we have a shop selling powered rails for 120 pounds or dollars or whatever currency you use each. And in here we have 1,728. So when they are all gone, you would have to refill the stock. However, over here, we have uh, two chests that are unlimited, so you can buy as many cakes as your heart desires. So it's completely empty, but if I left click um, and look in chat, you can see all the information about the shop, who, the, who owns it, the item, the stock, the price, and whether it's buying or selling. So how many we want to buy? Let's buy five cakes. Um, and there we go, one, two, three, four, five, and we've bought them for 250. So you can clearly see how much you've spent and how much you've bought. Uh, it's a very good plugin, it's very clear, and I should probably eat this cake because I'm getting rather hungry. Uh, there we go, nom nom nom. So um, yeah, we have a buying chest over here, so if we left click that, um, we can choose how many we want to sell. So we have uh, 64 and 60, so that's 124, and that will sell all of our uh, oak planks, and in here there is none because it is a an unlimited chest. So how do we create it? Well, all you need to do is grab an item, such as uh, an ender pearl, go up to a chest that's empty, and shift left click. Now, it will ask you how much you want to sell one for, so let's go with I don't know, 64 maybe, and hit enter. This will pop up on the chest if you've enabled it in the config file. So if you want items hovering above the chest, which looks really nice, uh, it's a cool feature, enable it in the config file, which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, and then in here we can pop them in. So now if we left click it will say how many it's selling uh, and then left click this to update so it's 64. If we take 20 out left click it will go back to uh, 64. So that's a cool feature. Uh, so if we left click and buy 16 um, it will be empty and we won't be able to buy any. So this shop has zero ender pearls left. Um, so that's how that works and let's create another uh, shop with a golden sword by doing shift left click we'll sell them for I know 12 because nobody wants a uh, golden diamond sword um, and yeah that's how you create a shop so if you do forward slash QS it will show you all the commands so uh, let's have a look at what we can do if you do forward slash QS unlimited this will obviously set the shop to being unlimited left click and it will be selling 10,000 if you do forward slash quick shop buy you can actually um, change it from a sell to a buy shop and now we will be able to um, sell and it tells you how many are available so sell all four there we go so we've sold all four to the unlimited shop which is really cool so there are a few more cool features uh, one I really like is the find feature so if you're maybe in a huge shopping area with loads of these chests or market I should say uh, if you do QS find and then maybe gold it will point you towards um, where the gold shops are. So if we turn around, it will tell you how far away you are as well, which is just amazing. Fantastic feature by the dev, really like that. Um, I've never seen that before, but it's so useful. So what we can do, we can do QS clean, which um, removes all the shops with zero stock, but obviously all of these do have stocks. They will not be removed. Um, we can create a new shop at the target of a chest. You can do QS price, and if I can actually type properly, which I'm struggling to, um, price 10. Uh, we can actually change the price of um, whatever shop we're looking at. So let's set it to 111, move back to 100, and we can empty a shop, we can refill a, uh, a shop. Uh, obviously you wouldn't want to give players all these commands, but you could give players um, the ability to create and um, create, sell and buy shops. Or give it to donors as well, so that's cool. And you can obviously change the owner, so I don't know if I'll be able to do this. QS set owner uh, 008, there we go, so um, left click and the owner has changed. So let's change it back to myself. And there we go, so that is everything in game. So here we are in the quick shop folder and as you can see there are a few files. So we have uh, the file at the bottom that just saves data. 
we have the log file, the QS notepad file. So this saves everything everyone does in case uh, you want to check up on something. Uh, so that's pretty useful. Uh, then we have the messages file. Uh, so this has all of the messages with different colors and text. So um, you could change this if you wanted to, but uh, there's no real need. And the most important one is the config.yml. So this has quite a few things in. So you can have tax um, in game, which is quite funny. I know there's a lot of tax in real life, too much, quite frankly. But uh, you can set a tax amount at a decimal. So uh, players will be paying tax, which is uh, quite a funny um, thing to have. And you can uh, show tax whether um, on the shop or not, which is interesting. And whether you can set prices to whole numbers or decimals. So if we scroll down a bit more, you can set limits. Um, so the limit by default is 10. Um, so that's probably too high. I'd say it's maybe five or not. And various different ranks, if they have the correct permission, they could make more shops as well. Then we have the shop block, so chest and trap chest. The cost to make a shop and whether you can have refunds which is interesting. Um, whether you have to pay a fee to change a price, that's, that's a pretty cool feature, but 50 is quite a lot for that. And whether you have to sneak to create and trade. So uh, I had to sneak to create it, but I didn't have to sneak to, um, to trade with it, which is uh, cool. Then we have a blacklist, obviously you don't want to sell bedrock, maybe you could put TNT in there. Down at the bottom we have um, the custom potion names which is cool uh, and we have uh, where is it where is it display items so this is uh, the part that I turned to true it was on false but um, it can cause duped items if you have a modded server so be careful with that and uh, whether you want frames on chests as well and the fine distance so if this is too high it will cause lag so I wouldn't recommend setting it um, to 100 as uh, as the dev says here, don't do it. <laughs> so overall, it's pretty easy to change everything in the config.yml. There's not too much in here, but you can just edit various numbers, turn things on and off just to however you like. So that is the plugin. Uh, you can download it for free off of Spigger. Link down below. Subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you next time.